Hi, I'm Kevin Smith from Trailer Boat Magazine and TV. Just got back to the ramp and spent quite a bit of time on the Haynes Signature 580 BR, which stands for Bow Rider. First impressions, well as you can see, it looks fantastic. I love the colour. Bright greens, blacks, mix of white on the external gel coat and then on the interior it's just the same. It looks awesome I think. Now, 580 is not a huge boat but for this style of boat it's quite big. Um, it's fitted up with a 175 Suzuki and this is one of the new lean burn uh, motors which obviously makes one heck of a difference when it comes to economy and smooth running of the motor. Power wise it's phenomenal. All right. So externally you can see it's a great looking boat, but what about internally? Well, when you step inside, it's got an abundance of space. It's got good seating, driver and passenger side, very comfortable to sit in as well. It's got a full rear lounger that can be taken out. It's got big storage under that rear lounger. And then up front in the bow rider section, again, you've got a little wraparound lounge, also with storage. Now. I think the colour is what is really making this boat. When you get inside and have a look, it's got black dashes, there's a bit of a mix of carbon fibre, it just looks really, really classy. I think, you know, it's one of those boats that you can see yourself on the dams or lakes or whatever, skiing and having a good time, pulling tubes, wakeboarders or whatever, it's suitable to that. But not only that, I think it's a great boat for the bay. It's got the plank hull system, which gives it a really comfortable and soft ride. And again, it's one of those boats that's foam filled as well. So it really does dampen and take the noise out and again, soften the ride. A boat like this, when I got into it, I noticed straight away the controls were super smooth. It's got fly by wire, which is like butter when you push them down. Acceleration out of the hull, well, because of that smoothness on the control, it's really, really quick and sensitive. The 175, well, yeah, that really kicks this beast out of the water. We got up to a top end of around 78 k's an hour, which is flying. It loves a bit of trim and it likes to be driven hard. And one thing that's really appealing with this boat is that it feels safe on the water. I chucked it into some big turns from slow speeds up at high speeds. It just sits down, the plank holds on the bottom and you feel really, really good driving it. You don't feel uneasy at all. In fact, it's one of those boats that makes you feel pretty naughty and you want to drive it like a bit of a maniac on the water. One thing I did notice with this boat, that besides being a great entertaining boat and skiing boat, was you could actually adapt it to suit fishing. In the back, or in the stern section at least, you've got the full rear lounger that's retractable, it comes out. That could end up being quite a nice open fishing deck. And then up the front in the bow rider section, I've seen people do it before where they've actually put an infill in and created their own cast decks and even mounted electric motors. It handles the chop well in the bay, so no reason why you can't use it for fishing. So on that performance side, well, this style of boat stability is perfect, basically. There's no issues with stability at all. You can have a few people on one side, it doesn't rock and roll. And then when you get up and running, like I mentioned earlier, this doesn't mind speed at all. Although it wasn't the roughest of days, there's still some big ferry wakes and there was a little bit of a chop out there and enough to make a ride quite uncomfortable, especially at very high speed. Well, we literally smashed this boat through some of those big wakes and it just comes up, drops itself back down, lands smoothly. And again, you don't feel uneasy at all when driving this boat. It's a safe, good feel to the ride. Another interesting part to this test was using it as a camera boat. Now, we went out to the bar, which is probably not the normal place you would take this boat. Well, anyway, a couple of wave jumps and things, as you can see, well, the boat handles it pretty well. So to sum it up, besides awesome looks on and off the water, there's a couple of really good key elements and ergonomic sort of points to this boat. Nice size bow, where you got seating, a nice big open cockpit area, it's got a bit of shade cover, and overall it's comfortable and good for all family on board. 
I also really like that fly by wire, and I know I have mentioned it before, but that is just something out of this world. It takes your driving to another level. The signature 580BR, definitely worth a look.